I'm honored to have you as my son-in-law, Roland. You'll be a great husband to Ruby. Oh, before I forget, here's a letter from her. A letter from Ruby. Always a romantic. I still can't believe this wedding is happening. How did I get so lucky? I remember the first time I saw Ruby. She was sitting on a swing in the garden. A light breeze in her hair and a gentle smile on her lips. My heart fluttered when she looked at me. And in an instant, I was head over heels in love. Proposing took all of the courage I could muster. But it was worth it to hear her say yes. As a symbol of her love, Ruby gave me a part of her mother's amulet. I will always cherish it because I know what it means to her. We finally arrived. I can't wait to see her. Hurry up, Roland. Ruby must be anxious to see you. Roland! I'm so glad you're finally here. I'm sorry, darling, but many of our guests haven't arrived. There's talk of a giant wolf in the area, but I'm sure it's just a rumor. I don't want it to get in the way of our wedding. Don't worry, dear. Nothing will get in the way on such an important day. If you're sure it's just a rumor, then the wedding will go on as planned. Thank you, Dad. I'm sure it will be fine. Darling, please hold on to this for now. I need to put the finishing touch on a few things for the ceremony. I'll take my father inside and come back. What was that? I hope Ruby and Paul are okay.
I'm glad everyone is okay. I should tell Paul and Ruby about the strange red ivy on the doors. No! Ruby! Run! Stop! I won't let you take her! You're not going anywhere, you vile creature. No! Ruby! Paul! What? Is that... Paul? Did the wolf do this? This is terrible. The wolf kidnapped Ruby and somehow turned Paul into a boar. I must save them. Thank you for restoring me. I am Thalia, the spirit of the amulet. I once served Ruby's mother, Marion, until she passed me on. I sense that Ruby is in danger, but fear not. I will help you. I can help break the curse of dark magic. Bring me something meaningful to the victim, and I can imbue it with power. From Marion. It looks like a gift from Ruby's mother. It could be important to Paul. I loved Marion. She was a kind and gracious host. I wish I could have done more for her, but now I can focus on helping Ruby. But first, you should learn the truth about their family. Not long after Paul returned from the war, he met Marion and instantly fell in love. Marion's family approved of Paul and supported Marion when she didn't hesitate to tell him yes. But Paul felt his love for Marion wasn't fully returned, as she seemed cold and sad. However, the arrival of little Ruby warmed her heart, making room for Paul as well. Marion's sudden death devastated Paul, and caring for little Ruby became his sole focus, shaping his entire life around his daughter.
I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered. saved me. Thank you. I don't know where the wolf took Ruby, but we should head to her grandmother's house. Marion had a brother, but he disappeared. Their mother said something about it having to do with a wolf. They never spoke about it after that, but maybe she'll open up about her past if it means finding Ruby. We're no match for that wolf. I'll go get help and then we can meet at Ruby's grandma's. But first, we need to raise the pillar. There should be a long piece of cloth around here somewhere. Can you find it? We should be able to move this column, Paul. I'll find help. We'll meet again at Ruby's grandma's. What? The wolf! No! The bridge is broken. I need to find a way across.
looks like the wolf was here. I hope Ruby's grandmother wasn't hurt. Looks like Ruby's grandmother was turned into an owl. I should investigate around here to figure out how to help her. Allow me to continue the story of Ruby's family while I help you lift the curse. Marion's brother, Gaspar, had a friend named Blaze. There were strange rumors about Blaze, and Gaspar's mother warned him to stay away. But the war brought them together, and Gaspar trusted Blaze as a brother. One day, Gaspar was surrounded in battle, and Blaze transformed into a wolf to protect his friend. After the battle ended, Gaspar disappeared, and no one saw him again. Many believe Blaze, overwhelmed by animal instincts, accidentally killed Gaspar in the fight. Ruby's grandmother feared Blaze, and what he did to her son, and rallied the townspeople to banish him permanently. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered.
can't believe that damned Blaze has returned. I've already lost my son because of him. I can't allow him to hurt my granddaughter. His cursed magic seems even stronger than before. There's something evil about those red patterns on him, but a magical cloak should help protect you. You'll need to sew special symbols on it. I'll look for them while you get the golden silk thread. It should be in the closet. Here are the magical symbols for the cloak. Use them well. Now you have everything you need to activate the cloak's magic and face the wolf. I'll wait here for Paul, but you should be ready to look for Blaze. I believe he's hiding somewhere in the forest. Are these Ruby's things? I need to examine them closer to make sure.
she unconscious? I have to help her. I'm coming to save you, Ruby. Oh, it's just her cloak. What's this? A note? Perhaps it'll provide a clue to her whereabouts. Who's here? Blaze? Then who's this fox? Please, Roland, don't hurt him! What are you doing, Ruby? No! Why did Ruby protect those animals and run from me? I need to catch up with him quickly and find out what's happening.
think it's the fox Ruby fled with. I should lift the curse and find out why Ruby's protecting them. Fox must live in this treehouse. They got in through a hole in the door. Maybe I can find something valuable of theirs here. the diary of Marion's brother, Gaspar. Everyone believes he's dead, but I think he's the enchanted fox. I need to find his medal. It's clearly important to him. Allow me to continue the story of Ruby's family while I help you lift the curse. Blaze and Marion have known each other since childhood. Over time, their youthful friendship turned into love, and they got engaged. The lovers made plans, and Gaspar promised to be the godfather of their future children. But the couple's plans were shattered by Gaspar's tragic death and rumors of Blaze turning into a wolf. Marion refused to believe Blaze could harm her brother, but the enamored girl's opinions went unnoticed. The day Blaze was expelled from the city, Marion was locked at home, forbidden to say goodbye to her beloved. Marion's family vowed to protect their descendants from the monster's curse. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered.
Thank you for breaking the curse. I can't believe I'm finally human again. I'm Gasper, Ruby's uncle and her mother Marion's brother. I'm sorry for attacking you, but I didn't mean you any harm. I just wanted to distract you to keep you from killing me and Blaze. Please, help me escape this hunting trap and I'll explain everything. Thank you. Now you should know that Blaze would never harm me. He had to turn me into a fox to save my life on the battlefield. Unfortunately, he couldn't restore my human form. Blaze wanted to tell you the truth, but Ruby was afraid you'd kill him before she had a chance to explain everything. It takes time for him to turn back into a human. Blaze kidnapped Ruby to protect her from the druid, who wants revenge on him for the past. When the druid found out Ruby is actually Blaze's daughter, he decided to use her to get his revenge. You should talk to Blaze, but I don't know where he is. He mentioned a hiding place while we were on the run, but I got caught in the trap, and they didn't hear me call out to them. Funny, Blaze used the same secret markings on the map we had as children. We went to the forest cave near the waterfall, but to get there, you'll need a boat. I just saw one. Go straight without turning and you'll find it. Head to the cave, and I'll go to the town and reveal the truth about Blaze so people stop haunting him. I finally found the boat Gaspar mentioned, but it looks broken.
Just a little more, and I'll be able to talk to Ruby. I hope she won't run away from me anymore now that I know the truth. And here's the waterfall. That means the cave must be somewhere nearby. The current has become quite strong. Whoa! Well, luckily I'm not hurt. I just lost my thing somewhere around here. Is that Blaze near the cave? Blaze! He can't hear. I think I see my things in the water. I need to retrieve them quickly. Ah, here's the secret place where the hint's hidden. I need to get there quickly. Finally! Are you alright? Blaze, did you really think you could hide from me and stop me from getting revenge for Elizabeth? <laughs> Neither you nor your newly acquired daughter can escape from me! And now you've done exactly what I wanted. You turn Ruby into an animal! Is that the druid Gaspar was talking about? My dear fiancé has been kidnapped by this arrogant druid. I need to break the enchantment on Blaze. He'll know what to do next.
Allow me to continue the story of Ruby's family while I help you lift the curse. During the final battle, Blaze's army was facing almost certain defeat. To save their lands, Blaze decided to seek help from the druid Dakmor. Although the druid had not interfered in the lives of humans, he could not ignore the war approaching his castle. Dakmor bestowed Blaze with the magic to transform into a wolf and turn enemies into animals. However, he warned that magic in the hands of humans could be unpredictable. Blaze agreed to take the risk for the sake of saving his people. When Blaze's army emerged victorious, he tried to return the magic, but the druid could not take it. He reminded Blaze that magic always comes at a cost, and the price Blaze had to pay was that he'd stay a werewolf forever. Then the druid asked Blaze to leave. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered. Thank you for freeing me from that terrible curse. I've dreamed of this for years. I am indeed Ruby's real father. I never wanted to harm anyone, only to save her. So I enchanted her relatives. They would surely have tried to stop me from protecting her from the druid. Dakmore swore vengeance on me to avenge the death of his wife. But I didn't want things to end like they did for Elizabeth. She died in a terrible accident. One day the druid appeared before me and said he had learned Marion's secret, that Ruby is my daughter, and now he's using her for revenge. I don't know what he's planning, but we'll save Ruby. My army created a secret tunnel in this cave during the war. It will lead us to the druid's castle. It's likely dark in the tunnel, so I'll look for torches. And you can work on opening this passage for now. Here are the instructions on how to do it.
Great. You managed to open the passage. We must hurry. I just found torches, so let's go. Shoot, that's terrible luck. The druid literally burned his bridges behind him. I'll go look for something to help us cross to the other side, or find a way down. Please try to figure out how to lift and restore the bridge mechanism. Oh, you poor thing. Don't worry. I'll help you. Now you're free and safe, little one. Well, since the path through the main gates is closed, I should go around the castle and explore other options. It looks like I can enter the castle through a gap in the wall, but the stones are too tight for me to squeeze through. How can I remove them? What if I could shoot the cannon at the wall to open a passage? That just might work.
I heard the explosion. I'm glad you're all right. Did you manage to find an entrance to the castle? Great. Then let's go find Ruby. Wow. The library has hardly changed since my last visit. It's just as vast as I remember, and still smells of old parchment. The door's locked. While I search for a way to open it, look for information on how to defeat the druid. He's very powerful, and it seems he's become even stronger. Now that I can't turn into a wolf anymore, we have no advantages aside from the amulet. Dockmore plans to sacrifice Ruby to resurrect Elizabeth. We need to find out where he's planning to do it, and fast. Blaze, I found the druid's notes. You need to see them. Here. Oh no! Are you alright? Good. I opened the door, and now I'll try to find Ruby. Meanwhile, you should find a way to get out.
doors are blocked. I need to clear the path to get out quickly. This must be Doc Moore's room. I bet I can find information here about where he's planning on holding the ritual.
Doc Moore left the code for this stash as a reminder. Does that mean he hid something important to him there? Place. I found the place where the druid is planning to conduct his ritual. Do you know where it is? What ritual are you talking about? What? You found out that the druid is planning to sacrifice Ruby's life to resurrect his wife? Never! I won't allow it! Show me what you found! Yes, I know where the sacred grove is. Let's go quickly! This is the first time I regret that you broke my curse. We would have gotten there on all fours in no time. Ruby! I'll save you! You can't stop me! The ritual has already begun! You have Blaze to thank for this! If not for him, everyone would still be alive! Magical vines are difficult to remove. I'll try to clear the way and you search the area. Maybe you'll find something to help remove them faster.
Well done. You cleared our path. We should make a plan. How about I attack Dakmore to distract him while you free Ruby and break the spell on her? No! I won't let you interfere! I'll destroy your amulet, and you'll never be able to restore Ruby's human form! Roland, I'll detain him! And you take care of Ruby! Something important to Ruby. Now I need to break her curse. But first, I must fix the amulet. spell on her. Hurry, we're running out of time. Allow me to continue the story of Ruby's family while I help you lift the curse. After the druid refused to take back the magic, Blaze became enraged. He lost control of himself and his magic started changing. It became more powerful dangerous and cruel. He began a battle against Dakmore, but just as victory was within his grasp, Elizabeth, the druid's wife, decided to intervene and save her beloved. Tragically, the druid's magic accidentally hit her, killing her almost instantly. In an instant, Elizabeth transformed into a beautiful flower, and Dakmore, blinded by grief, turned to dark magic to resurrect her. He knew his chances were slim, and that the only surefire way of reuniting with his beloved was to transform himself into a flower, so they were intertwined. But he decided to try his luck. I've used up all my magic on the enchantment. I must rest before I continue the story. Come back when you need me again, and perhaps I will have recovered. doubted that you would find and rescue me. I'm sorry I ran away from you earlier. I was just trying to save Blaze. 
Dockmore plan to use this crystal to take my life and transfer it to his wife. Perhaps it will help us defend ourselves against him. Take it quickly and help my father. I can see that he can't hold out much longer. Blaze, run! You and Blaze may have stopped the ritual, but this is not the end. I'll see my plan through no matter the cost. Elizabeth, my dear, I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. If I can't bring Elizabeth back to life, then I'll join her myself. Finally, the whole ordeal is behind us. And now... Ruby and I can get married. Ruby, my dear, will you marry me? Yes. It is wonderful that despite everything, our family is finally together and united. What's that sound? It's coming from Margaret's room. Margaret? Sweetheart, are you all right? What is this pup doing here? What happened here? Where's my daughter? Maybe she was frightened and hit somewhere. I need to find her. Margaret's not here. Perhaps her diary can give me some answers. Oh no! So Grandmother was right! Margaret really did inherit Blaze's wolf curse. Grandmother always knows what to do. I'll go to her right away and keep looking for Margaret.
Ruby, dear, what brought you to the forest in the middle of the night? What? Margaret is missing? Oh, no! How could this happen? Margaret turned into a wolf? The poor girl! I'll try to lift the curse, but the forest spirits took the basket of herbs I need for the potion. Catching them with a special net should help you find the missing basket. In the meantime, I need to review my notes and find the locating spell we need to find Margaret. Our most important task is preparing the potion to lift the curse from Margaret. But the forest spirits stole the basket of herbs I need. You'll need a special magical net to catch them. So, find the net first, and then search for the spirits. Those mischievous forest spirits have really made a mess around here. then catch up with your friends. I'm just going to take grandmother's basket.
Thank you for bringing my basket back. I think the amulet you inherited from your mother might help Margaret, but I'm not sure how yet. I'll keep looking into it and let you know. I did learn how to cast a tracking spell, but we don't have much time. While I prepare the tracking spell, you can make the potion to lift the curse. Everything you need is in my house. Also, for the potion, you'll need druidic water. It was somewhere around here, but perhaps the forest spirits hid it. Search the house and the yard. I'm sure you can do it. Here's the recipe and the herbs. Another little rascal! What's it holding in its hands? You should prepare the potion while I'm getting the tracking spell ready. Well done! You got the druid's water. If you'd need anything else to complete the potion, feel free to check my cellar. I'm afraid Marion's amulet, the one that once protected you from the curse, has lost its power. I found a legend stating that it can only be recharged using strong and pure emotions. 
But there's no record of anyone succeeding. Did you manage to make the potion? Excellent. It should work to cure Margaret. But remember, the cure for lycanthropy is only effective when used during the first transformation under the light of the full moon. I've prepared a tracking spell. Now I just need something of Margaret's to find the way to her. Margaret's favorite toy. I'm sure this will help. This light is the tracking spell. Just follow the light. It will stay near you until you find Margaret. Find Margaret as quickly as possible. Remember, she can only be cured tonight. You will not pass. The land beyond this bridge belongs to the Lycans. The pack will protect its pup. We destroyed the bridge so that no one could cross. Now leave! What's happening? Oh no! Did he transform into a wolf? This man won't stop me. I'll find my daughter, no matter what it takes.
I managed to break away from the wolves, but they're still there, so I can't go back. I need to go through the swamp and reach the tracking spell's light somehow. Margaret! Sweetheart! What happened to you? Wait! Who are you? What have you done with my daughter? Calm down! You need to hurry if you want to help the girl. Margaret came here on her own. In her wolf form, she sensed a pack that could protect her. She arrived exhausted, so she's sleeping. It's common for young lichens. Are you her mother? Then I understand. The same thing happened with my son Thomas. He has an increased sensitivity to the transformations, and feels unwell every time he transforms. He's sleeping now as well. You can take his cane. It may help Margaret if she still feels weak. We can wake Margaret up. A special lichen nut grows in the swamps that can help. I can't gather them because the moonlight will turn me into a wolf. So it's up to you. And take the Order's medallion. It might prove useful. <laughs> Who's there? This spirit is different from the ones I've seen before. My mother's amulet. It once protected me from lycanthropy. But as grandmother said, we'll need to awaken its power. I must give the amulet to Margaret. There's a chance it will protect her from the lycanthropy too.
Excellent. This is the right knot. Apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Vincent. I'm the leader of the pack. I'm sorry for our aggression. In wolf form, we lose control and might accidentally harm others while protecting our pups. So, to safely wake Margaret up, you need to make oil from the nuts and other ingredients. There's some meal you can use, but you'll need to assemble it. Once you prepare the oil, let Margaret smell it and she'll wake up. I'll go get Thomas to bring him here. He'll be so glad to see Margaret. Also, take this mask. It will help you find the components for the mill. out why I turned into a wolf? Did I inherit it from Grandpa Blaze? It turns out I'm not the only one. I've befriended Thomas. He suffers greatly from this curse. Will there be enough medicine for all the pack members? They've been so helpful and caring towards me. You say there will be only enough medicine for one person? I want to give you something else. It's your grandmother Marion's protective amulet. I think it could protect you like it protected me. You once told me about it. Thank you for the amulet. I'll cherish it. But speaking of potions, I want to give the medicine to Thomas. He's wanted to break free from the curse for so long. I really want to help him. Oh, here he comes. Forgive me, Mother, but I made my choice. He suffered long enough. Margaret! I'm so glad you're awake! Thank you. Now, I'd like to give you this medicine. That's kind of you, but I can't accept it. It was meant for you. That isn't important. It's my choice. I really want you to have it. It seems like the amulet's power has awakened. It must be because of Margaret's sacrifice. What's going on? Oh, 
no, it's the full moon! Wait, none of us are transforming into wolves. It's a miracle. Words aren't enough to describe how happy I am. Margaret's pure intentions and the magical power of the amulet cure to everyone in the pack. We'll never forget your kindness. Thank you for everything. <laughs>